Welcome back, fans. Another episode of Vancouver Island Pro Wrestling. I'm Jim Summers. And I'm the VIP in VIPW, Adam Sanders. Right? How cool is that? We have some huge matchups for you folks at home here tonight that you are not going to want to miss. We've got one of the rising stars in this company, Evan Ashford, and he's taking on, in his VIPW debut here, the newest member of the Moment of Truth, Sawyer Stein. I like that kid. That's gonna be, I like that kid. You would. He's and got a mean streak on him. He's a jerk. I gonna, like him. It's going to be a heck of a way to kick this thing off. And then in our main event later tonight, the Anarchy Rules Ooh. Championship will Can't be on the one. line. BJ Laredo defends oh, against Dirty Rock. Let's just go to the ring. Here we go, making their way to the ring. The moment of truth. This is uh, Sawyer Stern's VIPW debut. That's right, one of the newer additions here to the moment of truth. And I'm interested to see you know, what this young man's got to offer us here. He looks like a cool guy with a cool group. Like. All things are going for this guy, I'd say. I never want to hang out with you and your friends. I don't know if I've made that clear They're in the, the past. They're the coolest. We're the coolest. It's one word you can use to describe us as the coolest. I don't think me and you evaluate cool in it at all the same manner. I don't think we're using the same qualifiers. Speaking of cool, look at Sawyer Stein's cool entrance gear with the name on the back sparkling. Sawyer Stein, you see that sparkling? Fans at home. It might not come across on camera, but that looks really cool in person. Well, you know who I think's pretty darn cool? This young man right here, Evan Ashford, he's been one of the greatest additions to the VIPW roster that we've had in a long time. He's had a meteoric rise here in VIPW, and these fans know it. He they're loves they're those excited. Big explosive moves. He loves those big, big high spot explosive moves. And I was talking to him, I was saying, you know, you could get the same result by just Sticking a thumb in an eye, just oh, come sticking on. some fingers, fish hooking a guy. You can get the same result. That would be the advice that you would give the young man, Adam. But I mean, I luckily, he's a true competitor. He wants to win the thing the right way. But he's not afraid to take those high risks, like you said. I think it's a bit of a high risk coming out here. The numbers are definitely against him here. Absolutely. He's not looking. I don't see too much fear in the young man's face, though. That's I, right. I don't think that's bravery so much as it is just stupidity. Oh, come on now. Really? I don't think fear is in Evan Ashford's vocabulary whatsoever. This young man, the definition of fearless. He's surrounded by these guys like they're wolves, like they're hungry wolves. That's exactly what the moment of truth is. That's a great descriptor for them. A pack of hungry wolves, of rabid dogs. And Jordy Taylor there, the alpha wolf, if you will, Absolutely. of these, the group these leading dogs that pack. of war, these Peros del Mal, if you will, are rabid. They're ready. Yes, you love to see that sort of stuff. You see how he saw oh, come the opportunity? On. I like that. The match that. hadn't even started yet. Attacks him from behind, but Stern here. Oh, introduces Taking him to the any ropes advantage there. he can, he's dragging the face of Ashford along those ropes. The face, the eyes, it's awesome. Let's see, here we go corner to corner. Oh! No, he's just going to keep him in there. He's going to bully him in that corner. A stiff kick to the bread basket it? there off the ropes. Oh! Head scissors from the young man. Look How at that. that. How did he do that? Spinning answers. Look at the elevation on that drop kick from Ashford. Yeah, check. They got to check his shoes. He's got some springs in there, I think. He's got springs in his shoes, Evan Ashford Would does. Would you stop? He does. He's using the springs. Springboard oh. off of the rope there with a moonsault. Just Beautiful stuff. And welcome to VIPW, Sawyer. He's thinking, when's the first bus out of town? Why'd I sign up for this show? Nice. You oh, see that and there? look at that. No, Kruger from behind. No, he just taking tripped. out the feet. Kruger didn't do anything. See, Come on. Not, I didn't do anything. Yeah, he tripped. Evan Ash, he's a rookie. Evan Ashford tripped. He's not used to the size and the shape of this ring. Would you stop? Well, there hasn't been any six sided rings in the Pacific Northwest. I'm not sure what other shape you could be anticipating, but right now, Bruce Stern's taking him all around that ring. I'm not a cheater, you're an idiot. A lot of years since corner. we saw five sides. Absolutely, this isn't the uh, five-sided wrestling like down in Washington. No, this is uh, this is VIPW where the best come to the island to wrestle. 
Wow, Jordy Taylor just talking to Evan Ashford there, just giving him advice, even though he's not even in his group, just talking to him. That was so nice of him. Well, Big. right now it's, oh, nothing nice about the way Sturge Stearns handling Ashford, toss him around that ring like a bag of laundry. It's just academic now, it really is. Oh, come on. A little braggadocious, perhaps, from no, see, in our VIPW he, debut with he, the one-foot cover see, here, See, the one-foot cover, he's, he's, he wasn't just a, he was doing that to help his opponent there. It's kind of like a handicap, you know, he's, he's winning too much. So he's going to go with a, a pinfall like that just to, to give his opponent a chance here. I don't think that's a the moment of truth. He's are, a sportsman. Oh! I, that definitely doesn't sound like the sort of instruction that he'd get from one Jordy Taylor, I tell you that much. Sawyer Stein firmly in control of this one. Irish whip out of Oh, oh and a huge lariat out of him a there. Big one too. One, two, and no out. close two count kicked though. Out though. Ashford looks like he's not sure where he is right now. Absolutely he's dazed not. and confused. And oh come on, the he's slapping. just paint I like that. him. It's just disrespect at that point. Oh, get him off of him. It's a clear two-handed choke. Oh, that's a, he's got him in a jaw hold. That was actually a perfectly legal move. He's got him in a little jaw hold that wasn't on, on the oh, throat. Come on, right? stop it. Well, he certainly fits in with the moment of truth here. Looking like oh, he's one of the man, gang. Big foot in the corner. And this is more than just a member of Moment of Truth. I think this is a high-ranking general, if you will, in the Moment of Truth. Who's giving you that information? I've got some inside info. I don't know who your sources are. You know what, I wouldn't be surprised if someday this guy is, uh, is maybe even the leader of this Moment of Truth someday. Well, I, I would, you know, definitely want to know what Jordy Taylor would have to say about that. I don't think he's looking to relinquish the reins anytime soon. Taylor, a veteran. Any for sure wolf in pack, the that, that, alpha, scene, that alpha wolf's spot, everyone's biting for it. I'm telling you. Everyone wants to be that alpha wolf. Oh! Right now, Evan Asher just oh, wants no. to get back into this match, back into the ring, and that's one way to do it. Oh! And I thought he was going to be able to get a pinfall out of that, but no. Oh, high knee to the face of Sawyer there. Oh, come oh, on! No. Jordy Taylor giving him the advantage oh, of Minjinoku driver. It's over. That has to be it. No! How Ashford that? somehow. Where's he getting this from? I have no idea. Everybody in the arena thought that was it. I thought that was it. But somehow, Evan Ashford's still in this matchup. Unbelievable. Still willing to fight. It looked like he was maybe going to go for another head scissors, but he gets caught up by Sawyer there. And Big sidewalk slam. One, two. No, oh, close two count. Yeah, Ashford's, Ashford's fighting hard, but uh, I don't see how he can get the, uh, the advantage in this one. Absolutely every bit of heart the young man has is being thrown into it here. And Sawyer, though, he's got to be asking himself, what do I got to do to actually put this kid away at this point? Oh, and Ashford there. Looks like he went back to the well one too many times. Ashford ducks. Series of fists of his own. Oh, man. Oh, oh. no. And maybe telegraph that last one a little bit too much. Sawyer moving the man to the middle of the ring. He's got Asher right where he wants him right now. Center of the ring. And a big oh, splash, that big could be splash. it. That'll crush the air out of you, and at that point. That's it. Oh, no, wow. no he kicked out, he kicked out. Somehow wow. still in this matchup, and you can see the referee saying there that it was just by a hair, but somehow by the skin of his teeth, Ashford's still in this contest. Your boy's about to die. Huh? Sawyer firmly in control of this one. Might be his first match in VIPW. He's not shy to talk some trash to the audience, but there you go. Sit out drop kick from Ashford. Oh! Throwing himself into Sawyer in the corner. Oh. Big Lariat. Big Lariat. 
And Ashford finds himself in Where control is of this Ashford one for the first time in this Chris. matchup. That's right, he hasn't been in the driver's seat in quite some time. And I'm not sure he quite got his wind about him though yet. I don't know if he can maximize on this advantage here. He's just taking so too worth long. For wear. Oh, a blow to the back of the head though. Really just desperation maneuvers at this point. Elbow to the back of the head, not the high flying offense we're used to, but here oh, we no, go. Asher might be thinking it's time to go up top. He needs to just get up there. He, he's trying to get these fans into it. That's Come on, I was stupid. The get up he there. Might be taking a and the, you knew Jordy Taylor was going to try to take advantage. Ashford kicking him off there. And are you oh, kidding me? Out the ring. What? He just took oh, out my. the entire moment of truth. Wow. What a cross body. Just used his body as a weapon. What bravery. And the oh, numbers have evened up here. But, oh. On the way in, he kicked the rope. Oh. Caught him in the worst way. Oh. oh. Landed right on his head. Wow. And he's out. Your winner, Sawyer Stein of the moment of truth. Hit him with the angel's wings there. Good night, and Sawyer taking this match. Although what a way to debut here in VIPW. Absolutely, and you got to say, this Sawyer Stein's got a big future in the moment of truth and in VIPW. Hey, I might not like hey, the way he won the match, but you win in your debut. That's going to go a long way to you. Big get high flying booked. offense by Ashford, but it wasn't enough. That's right, the sit out oh, and Shinoku look driver. At that Shinoku driver. Taka himself will be proud. Absolutely, spinning big sidewalk splash. Slam. Huge splash there. It was the oh, big cross body from Ashford. It was that choice Ashford. that lost him the match, though. That's how he lost Th that the match. That was, because right here, Sawyer Ooh. took advantage. The low blow there, the referee didn't notice. Oh, right on his noggin. That's right, dropped him right on his head with the angel's wings there. One, two, three, good and There's night. your winner, Sawyer Stein. There's Johnny Roston. Right, the, the moment way. of truth making their way back out here. And this time, they got their hands full. They got all sorts of treats. They got plunder. They got weapons. They got plunder. Plunder might be an appropriate term for this group of pirates here, but... Absolutely. Rostin, this has got to be, you, you got to think, probably the biggest opportunity this young man has had in his career here so far. Possibly chance to walk away with some VIPW hardware. What are you looking at, camera boy? And his opponent, BJ Laredo. Coming into the ring to that black Betty, I, I can barely stand it. Both these fans love it, and this might be his biggest opportunity, but it's also definitely going to be the biggest challenge that Johnny Rostin has faced so far here. Oh my goodness. That's illegal. That's illegal. It's an anarchy rules match. But that specifically, you can't, BJ Laredo can't have a, a barbed wire chair like that. That's not right. No, that's that's how anarchy rules works though. Is I, that he, can, he can do that. It's about the, the, the spirit of the rule. That's the spirit of the law, if you will. I guarantee you, uh, the moment of truth that brought that out here, you'd have no issue with it. Well, hindsight's 2020, really. Well, BJ Laredo, he's not looking to let go of that title, and right now he's not looking to. Oh, man, I spoke too soon. Chooses to leave it on the outside of the ring for now. Hey man, no one ever accused BJ Laredo of being smart. Hey, sometimes you want an ace up your sleeve, you know, later in the match. Speaking of ace up your sleeve, did you see the way Johnny Roston threw his jacket over the face of BJ Laredo and just went to work? That's right. I love it. Outsmarting Laredo there at the start of this matchup. But no doubt. Trying to take any advantage you can, and I can't blame him when you're in there with this massive, angry redneck of a man, BJ Laredo, but it looks like it just ticked Laredo off more than anything, I think to be so. honest with you. Man, Rostin going from corner to corner to corner, trying to get away from Laredo. Well, that's not fair. See, there's more of this cheating from Laredo. You see that? It's an anarchy rules match, it's Adam. I don't know cheating. how many times that's cheating. I can't believe it. Well, there's no holds barred. And oh, oh, that Larry 
Elliott just about took his head off. Big impact. Big oh. back elbow, too. Oh, man. I could loosen some teeth there. Rawson going for a Larry of his own, but no, Laredo with the suplex. Huge suplex. And Jordy Taylor in the moment of the truth just setting up shop there in the entranceway. They're staying out of harm's way this time. I can't help but notice. They're not close to the apron like they usually are. Oh, Laredo, head of steam. He might be thinking oh. suicide dive there, but thinks better Kick. of it, recalculates. Oh, come on. A couple stiff kicks to the chest of Rost in there. Jordy Taylor perhaps offering some tough love, some words of encouragement. Oh! oh man, the steel right to the forehead, right to the dome. Austin might need stitches instead of words of encouragement after that one. And Absolutely. Laredo's got himself a Singapore cane. What's he gonna do with it? What's he gonna do with it? That's right, I think Johnny Rostin left some gum on the wrong sidewalk oh! and oh! impact of that one heard throughout this entire arena and these these fans love it I'm not gonna lie they're violent they're violent port alberni residents well, oh! port alberni love professional wrestling they love vipw and they love a good fight he's choking him with it you see he's choking him with that stick he's allowed to do that i don't know We'll get you a copy of the VIPW rulebook, faxed to your office, but just believe me for the duration of this match. I think the fix is in. Barbed wire chair oh, is in the back of back. Johnny Rostin. Wow. You gotta be kidding me. That's brutality. And just dragging it back and forth across his spine there. Terrifying, terrifying stuff. Terrifying is right. What is Laredo thinking of doing now here? by the scrub of his neck oh. and all oh, into the ring post there. Into the barbed wire of the chair into the ring post. That's right. Really using this entire environment out here as a weapon. And he's picking Rawson apart around the outside of this ring right now. EJ Laredo firmly in the driver's seat here showing why he is your Anarchy Rules champion. Rawson really needs to think about what he's got to do to get in control of this match, get it get it back into his uh, his control, really. At this point, I have no idea what he would have to try to get back into this match. Oh. Laredo, as I say. Bad blood control. between those men. Bad well, this blood. This might be the opportunity, come to think of it, that Rostin needs, because Laredo right now is allowing himself to be distracted there by the moment of truth. And what did I say? Nice little move there. Maybe Sawyer taught him about that one. Hey man, they work they work from the same page, you know what I mean? That's right. New to the group, but perhaps already passing on a little mentorage there to Rostin because they're busting the same play out of the same handbook. Absolutely, there. the same playbook for sure. He's got that garbage can lid. Oh, oh right, right into right the to back. The back. Laredo called Another him one. Negative, oh. oh, right to the face. Rostin's looking good. He's looking like he's in control I of this one. I thought he one. might try to, yeah, try to cover him here after that. That's what I was thinking. No, close two count there. Rostin's furious. Oh! Well, the trash can lid doesn't work. How about the whole trash can? Who's putting the whole thing over him? You he's putting the whole man in there. Oh, oh my goodness! He could have just caved Laredo's head in. I think he might have. BJ Laredo is out. You can see every one of his limbs just went limp there. The Rostin's not done. He's going under the ring for something else. What else do you need? Another steel chair. I like Rostin, though, in his sportsman. Like, see how he went for the one without the barbed wire? He knows the rules. Some oh, I doubt that was a sportsman decision. No. Oh, just wailing on the back of Laredo with that steel chair. Oh. Three times for good measure. And is it a three count? Two, no, no. Three times to the well with that steel chair, but only a two count still for Johnny Rostin, and he has gotta be. The damage is done though, the damage is done. 
now speaking to doing damage. He is just driving the very edge of that chair into the sternum and now just choking the life out of Laredo in the corner with that steel chair. It's beautiful. Beautiful's not the word I would use to describe it, but once again, Laredo's whole body prone and limp in the corner. Well, this Austin could be has it. This one. Well, Austin has this one. All he has to do is pin the man. It's you academic. Might, you might be right. We could have a new Anarchy Rules champion here at this point. Corner! Right into that turnbuckle. For good measure, I mean, the man's already out. Just try to pin him, for God's sake. Clubbing blows in the corner. Rostin and just going to work. Look at the insane look on Johnny Rostin's face as he's choking Laredo there. Absolutely. It's like something out of a true crime podcast, what's happening in this ring right now. He's got that trash can again. Oh, oh. like a car crash in the corner. And Johnny Ross is willing to sacrifice his own well-being at this point. Oh! oh! Missile drop kick into the corner. Beautiful. Pillar to post and just driving that trash can directly into the mouth of our champion, BJ Laredo. You can see we have an extra referee at ringside there, and that's just for audience safety. That's right. Not there to, to keep any moves from happening, to keep any weapons from being used. That's right, there's no way to control the violence that's occurring out here. Oh, oh, oh. The guardrails. Nasty. And Laredo's he cranium just yeah, colliding really with it. that His solid steel it. guardrail. His head definitely Oh, and again to the back with that chair, which you can see is just bending and contorting from the force with which Rostin's driving it into Laredo's spine. And just choking him right in front of the front row of the VIPW faithful here. Hey, you pay for a front row ticket and you, that's what you get to see. Certainly getting their money's worth here tonight. Rostin's out to get his money's worth. He wants that winner's share of the purse, and he wants that title. Absolutely, that Anarchy Rules title. It's really what this Moment of Truth group is about, is that kind of Anarchy Rules mentality. Well, absolutely. If there's one title that would be appropriate for somebody in the Moment of Truth to be carrying, this might be it. This, this match is designed for them, but I gotta say, I'm shocked that the Moment of Truth has not come into play throughout this matchup. If Rostin wins this thing, he can look himself in the mirror and say, hey, I did that on my own. And hey, I'm not shocked at all. This is that moment of truth by the book kind of guys. That's why they're called the truth, moment of truth. They're law-abiding, rule-abiding wrestlers. What are you talking about? Come on. Laredo here with the suplex. Oh, oh, big German overhead suplex. Man, no plunder, no weapons, no guardrails of any kind on that one. That was just pure wrestling. And we've seen Laredo before where he'll go for numerous suplexes, but at this point in the matchup, it was like it took every bit of energy that Laredo had left in the tank. Actually, both guys have just been beaten up in this match. He can't even cover the man. Just trying desperately to make it back over to that side of the ring right now is Laredo, but Rawson already making his way to his feet as well. With none of their feet at the same time, more or less. No telling which way this one's gonna go. Trading blows back and forth right in the center of the ring. Big shots from both men. That's right, it's Ollie and Frazier in the center of the ring here. And what's Rostin thinking now? Oh! I remember when Ollie used to do a move just like that. It was beautiful. I must have missed that particular Ollie fight. Oh, but Ollie right now, Rostin looks like Big he might have this thing put away. Oh! It's a two count. A close two count. Rostin's got to think, what, what do I got to do to put this man away? Oh, absolutely. He's got to be cursing under his breath at this point. Rostin going outside the ring once what again. Look, could he's looking be? For that, oh, he's no. Looking for that table. He's trying to get that table. He's thinking table. He is bringing that, that table, table into the ring. And this is when things could get really dangerous, folks. Oh, 
looks like this particular table. He might have a little bit of a tough time setting it up there. That one pair of legs there looks like it may be defective, but I don't think he cares. He's going to find a way. Oh, I think that's a Port Alberti table. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, he's setting it up in the corner, so at that point... It works half the smart, time. I got to say, it's works. a smart strategy by Rostin there to get that Thinking table on his still, feet, for still sure. in play. Absolutely. Thinking on his feet. He's ready now to just put Laredo straight through that thing and seal this deal, but Laredo there, he's, he's got a hold of that top rope and he's able to stop the momentum there. Maybe both arms. Oh, all of Rostin's might. No, he can't do it. Oh my oh, goodness, no. you oh, see how no. easily he popped him up like that? Powerbomb! Oh! Through the table! You've got to be kidding oh, me. Man, One, it's over. two. What? Kruger just slid in there and saved Rostin's life. And just when I thought the moment of truth were actually going to be able to stay out of this thing, Kruger just threw himself in there and saved this match for Johnny Rostin. But now, oh, Laredo. Oh, no. Not oh. taking too kindly Man, to he it. Hit, he hit his dome right on that table. I think he did. I think you're right. I think his head snapped back on that table. He's Sawyer out. Stein in here now, but oh, series of tough right hands there. Ducks a lariat and oh. a suplex for him as well. Right into that table area, That's right. Too. Welcome to VIPW. Oh! Oh, big shot. That Did man McGann that? taken out on wow. the apron. Good night. And Jordy Taylor's seen his whole world crumble around him right now. He's seeing all his generals, all his soldiers fall. That's right. The kingdom's on fire for Jordy Taylor right now. But Johnny Rostin has been given an opportunity here to work his way back into this thing thanks to the actions of Jay Kruger. Absolutely. It's anyone's match now. That's right. Both men back on their feet now. Laredo goes for a lariat. Cr Rostin caught it. Rostin caught it. Rostin caught it. Inverse DDT. No. Could be thinking DDT. Yes. Oh. Yes. That was the hook, line, and center, he calls it. And oh. oh. I thought it was going to be hook, line, center, done deal for BJ Laredo, but somehow getting that shoulder up at the last possible instance. Now what is he going to do? Kruger's got to think, I, I busted everything in the kitchen sink out Absolutely. at this point. Absolutely, that's every page in his playbook. And can, can he come up with one more on the fly here? Can Rostin come up with one more? Oh, oh, another, another. Back, one. back to the well. Oh, oh no, but this time. He knew time, what to expect. That's yeah, right, Laredo what knew expect. what to expect. Got Man. that knee up. Great counter from Laredo. Oh, no, oh, he could be no. thinking package. Pile oh. driver right on his head. Good There's night. There's no kicking out from that. There's no kicking out. Three, and that's it. There is no kicking out. And BJ Laredo, against all odds here, still your Anarchy Rules champion. Absolutely. He really won it when he noticed that hook line center for the second time and just brought that knee up real quick there. He's a big man, a man of size, but at the end of the day, it was cleverness that got him to keep that belt in his. That's right, a wily dog here, BJ Laredo, keeping his wits about him. But speaking of dogs, odds, speaking of dogs. Surrounded by a pack of junkyard dogs right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. You are not wrong. And they are foaming at the mouth, and Laredo, he's got nowhere to go. He's got no one to oh, turn they're all to. In there. They're all in there. Oh, man. oh, and they're just picking him apart. This man already just defended a championship. Oh, absolutely. And Laredo might have kept the title, but right now, I don't, I don't think that's what we need to be concerned about. Laredo might not walk out of here right now with the moment of truth, just picking him apart. And I don't, I don't see anyone in a big hurry out to come help the man. And BG, look at this, Ross and Laredo there him alone. With that title. They're holding him in place. Wait, Jordy Taylor stopping Rostin He's stopping here. Rostin. He's moving Rostin out of the way. And he wants to be the one to take a piece out of Laredo here. This is personal. This is really personal. Oh! This is really personal. This is absolutely personal between 
Gordy Taylor and BJ Laredo. This goes back this years. Bad blood. This, this is, is bad blood. blood. This has been simmering for a long time, and it might have just finally come to its ultimate boiling point right here in front of our eyes. Oh, oh double yeah. underhooks. DDT. You see Jordy's got that energy Oh, rule come title. on. That doesn't mean anything. That could be symbolic in that the future. That doesn't mean anything. That symbolism. Is this something we're going to see in the future? It's pathetic. Let's see the replays Let's here. Let's see how this happens. Oh. Laredo there taking his head oh. off. Huge suplex. Boom. Just impact after impact. Oh, There's every ouch. weapon you could have imagined in this match. A Singapore cane here. We saw that first standoff there between oh. Taylor and him. But Laredo just getting picked Man, apart with that garbage can. Oh. oh, about caved his whole head in there. Oh, and those three shots to the back there. Oh. And a low blow for good measure as well. Laredo somehow got back into this thing. Huge suplex oh, and the wow. power bomb through the table in the corner. And ultimately, it was Jay Kruger who saved oh, look, the match that. for he Rost in really there. And, and then Laredo there. was just picking apart the whole moment of truth at that part. Oh. Package pile driver there was enough to finally seal the deal. Laredo retains the championship here. But you gotta know in the future, in this moment of truth, they're not done with Laredo, especially that Jordy Taylor. And as much as I hate to admit it, it could be signs of things to come here in VIPW. And retaining tonight, violence, plunder, everything you could want in a match. BJ Laredo coming away victorious, but uh, in the end, the moment of truth certainly having their way with him here. Who knows what the future holds for the Anarchy Rules Championship uh, or any of us here in BIPW with them running rock shut around the place. So. I like it. It's, it's great for me. I like it. We'll see you guys next time.